Hi guys, it's Brittany. So today's gonna be a movie review and today I'll be reviewing Three Amigos. It was released in theaters on December 12, 1986, directed by John Landis, written by Warren Michaels, Steve Martin, and Randy Newman, music composed by Elmer Bernstein, and the songs written by Randy Newman, and starring Steve Martin, Chevy Chase, and Martin Short. And this is just a really good, funny movie. And the story takes place in 1916, and the daughter of the leader of the village people, she um, goes to the village, she visits a church, and inside she watches a silent film starring the the three main uh, protagonists um, of of this movie, and she is she mistakes them for real heroes, and so she sends a telegram to them, telling them for them to come to their village, for them to stop. A Wapo because he and his gang were stealing a protection money from them and why exactly uh, I don't know or maybe it probably does so but and then um, with these characters lucky day Dusty Bottoms and Ned Nando Wonder, um, they go to their boss and they demand a race. But things do not go well and they get kicked out. And so after they're pretty much kicked out from the studio and the mansion, even their clothes are taken back, which were given as gifts. And so they can no longer, you know, go back. So they were pretty much fired. Um, just because they demanded a raise um, for their next project that they were going to do. And, you know, that just doesn't seem fair. Like, to get fired just because you wanted a raise, like, you know, that's just how things go. That's just what happened. And so, as soon as they got fired and got kicked out of of the studio mansion, then not too long after that, then they received a telegram, but they misinterpreted the telegram as a job offer in Santa Poco. So, and of course, you know, thinking that this was a job offer, they broke into the studio to retrieve their costumes and they headed um, for Mexico. But then, of course, you know, by the time they get there, they think they're going to put on this show to entertain them. And they think this guy um, they're going to meet, El Wapo, they think he's like this infamous actor, which as you can see in the movie that um, that Dusty you know they, they both read the word wrong um, and famous well it's infamous but they read it as infamous and they thought it meant that this guy is more than famous like he's you know this very famous actor that they're going to meet to to work with of this what they think of of this job offer that they had received which they misread the message and everything so it's just quite funny and everything so by the time they meet up with Alvaro and his game they think that he's this very 
and famous actor and that the his gang are also actors too and they're just going to put on this performance this show you know to perform so turns out it's not and the thing is is the word infamous which has a whole different meaning and so of course it's not for long either until they find out this is not you know that this is not just a show for them to put on to to perform to entertain them you know the the people in the village it is not until they realize that when lucky gets shot in the arm then they come to find out that this is all real and the those that they met up are not actors they're they're bad guys, real bad guys. Not even playing to be bad guys, they're real villains. And then of course, um, and then of course later, you know, so after they took off because they were scared, um, and then, you know, then Al Wapo, he kidnaps Carmen, which is um, the daughter of the leader of the village people, and then after he kidnapped her, then when they come back, then they set off to 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 rescue her and everything. So yeah, that's that's like the plot, and so again, this is just a really good um, funny movie. And John Landis, he did a really good job directing this movie. And I just like, you know, the shots of this movie and everything. It's just done really well. And Elmer Bernstein, who composed the music, also did a great job with the music. And I think it just really fit with the movie with the story and everything and of what's going on within the story so well um and then randy newman who written the songs uh as well he ran uh the the song that you hear which i believe is the the ballad of three amigos we know where they're singing at the beginning of the movie, so that, and then, um, My Little Buttercup, um, Blue Shadows, and I think even the song where the singing Bush is singing? No, uh, maybe? I, I don't, I don't know. Uh, or it's just songs that the singing Bush is just somehow randomly singing? I, I believe um, yeah he did really well um, to to write those songs and how they were just brought to the movie so well um, and even with, with these uh, for, for, for them to even to see in the song was just done uh, very well too and I actually really love those parts like like when they go, like when they arrive there and then when they, when everyone's just quiet and like not knowing what to do or say and so they suggested um, Dusty to go to the piano and play so when he does all of a sudden then um, Lucky and Ned um, put on this um, very entertaining but also very funny, um, very musical performance of my little buttercup and as I said it's entertaining, it's funny and it's just uh, it's just really great. It's just uh, this very great musical number. Um, like I said, which I find quite <laughs> um, entertaining and funny. It's just one of those things where you know where it's just uh, you know really great to watch. 
it and of course within that scene there are some uh, things here and there where it just makes it um, funny and enjoyable to watch and so it, they did a really good job you know um, with that so yeah I just love that and then even when they all sang the song later in the movie which is Blue Shadows that's also a really great song and yeah I think they did very well you know with that as well of you know singing the song so yeah I think that just I think that was also a really nice um, scene you know I think that was a great moment of you know for the three of them and so of course you know I really like how with you know the movie it has like I, I feel like there's just some things that are just so funny and it's just perfect, you know, perfect timing. And then I also like how it has also like a, what do you call it, like a heartfelt story as well where you get those heartfelt moments as well so you get a bit of both which I think is really great and so you know with all of them here you know they all did a great job with their performances and i just enjoy watching it and this is one movie that i say that it's just you know this is one movie you gotta have on dvd um i used to have it on dvd although now i don't but um i do want to get on dvd again so that um, that I'll definitely, well, I don't know when that'll be, but maybe sometime this year. Um, yeah, it's just really great to watch and everyone did a great job and everything. And so yeah, I just love their performances and they, you know, they're just really great, they're just really wonderful. And I just love watching their performances because it's just not only funny, but it's entertaining and uh, it's just enjoyable to watch as well as the movie, you know, the whole movie itself. And it's just one of those movies where I would definitely watch uh, again and again and again, like over and over. So... Yeah, that's my review on Three Amigos, and to rate this, I would give it a 8.5 out of 10. I would give it an A. I would give it 80%. Um, and, um, and 4 stars. So that's my review and rating on Three Amigos. So, and leave a comment down below if you have seen it. And if not, I do recommend it. It's a good, funny movie. So, hope you enjoyed this. And for more movie content like this, for more reviews, movie discussions, reactions, and dreams on movies, subscribe and click on the bell so you'll be notified when I upload and leave a comment down below if you have seen the movie and which is your favorite part of the movie. That's all for today and I'll see you at the movies.